welcome to Straw Family Farm Take Two. I'm Christy. Today in the chapel, we've got 1 Thessalonians 5 16. Be joyful always. Of course, the holidays are coming. Okay, they're not coming, they're upon us. Um, yeah, they're here. So I know last week I did not um, podcast at all. Uh, it just got busy. I had work and then I had meetings and yeah and i just couldn't find the time um with thanksgiving on thursday and then i did have to work friday um <sighs> worms issue monday uh yeah it, it was a whole thing so let me just start with <laughs> the docs so i got a free turkey i don't know if i told y'all um, little local grocery store. We're trying to shop local. You spent X amount of dollars between the first of October and Thanksgiving, and you get a free turkey. It's a little 13 pound, you know. Okay. I hate to not use it, and I thought it's free meals. So I went ahead and got it. Didn't have space in the freezer, so I cooked it last weekend. So begins the story. Um, I, shopping local, have had to change brands on a lot of things because they don't carry everything. Um, I'm trying to support local because number one, it's closer than Walmart and Target and all those chains. And number two, that local store, um, supports mentally challenged. They have a lot of mentally challenged, high functioning, mentally challenged workers. And I love it. You go in there and they know you and they talk to you. It's just, the atmosphere is amazing. So, um, anyway, got my turkey, got it home, uh, and I thought it out, cooked it. Um, I cooked it Sunday. I wasn't feeling good, so I didn't eat. I ate one sandwich off of it. You know, we sliced up a little bit, made a turkey sandwich with toast. And we were done. I was pretty much just didn't feel good. Uh, my sinuses have been gooky, and it's because well, roommate says it's because I went outside with a wet head, but it's not. It's because the weather's back and forth. Um, it was in the 60s on Thanksgiving. Right now, it's like 28 outside, <laughs> and it's only Tuesday morning, so we're talking like four or five days and it's 28 65 28 65 you know so yeah the high yesterday was just in the 50s so yeah the weather's <coughs> back and forth and maybe going out in my wet head doesn't help but yeah anyway so um i wasn't feeling good set sunday and uh we just ate the sandwiches well, while I was making the sandwiches, um, I had pulled off some skin. I didn't give it to the dogs because it was hot. Well, Rumi and I don't really eat the skin. So the next night I was like, oh, now I'm feeling better. We're going to have turkey. And I made some turkey and mashed potatoes and, you know, that piece of skin that I had pulled off, I ripped in half and it was probably this big around, ripped in half and, uh, fed to the dogs. Now, where does all this come in with shopping local and having to change brands? Because I use a blend when seasoning um, all my meat. I tend to stick to one blend, but because I had switched brands, the blend itself had changed, which I did not know. Um, the second thing that I did not know was majorum is a is a uh, spice never heard of it okay it was included in this blend that i had picked up had no clue when i gave the dog the skins it the skin it had of course the seasonings on it didn't think anything about it within two hours worm was lethargic laying around not do it would not walk would not move 
uh, living up to his name Worm, just, you could roll him right, he would not respond. It was horrible. So I got on my little app with my vet, told her what was going on. First she thought he was constipated because it was Thanksgiving and we had had a Thanksgiving meal and what did I feed him? And she knows I give him treats even though I'm not supposed to give him anything but dog food according to my vet. He's spoiled. He is my child. And I try to do just, he doesn't do junk food, but he does do meat and vegetables. Okay. So, and he does, we call it the pre rinse cycle. Him and Hitch both get to lick mine and roommate's plates. Um, we make sure there's nothing on there that they can't have. We make sure that there's not, it's just the remnants of what, you know, if we had spaghetti, there's a little sauce left on the plate or whatever. Um, but yeah, we don't give them a lot, but the turkey, I felt pretty safe because it was turkey. And then, um, carrots and pumpkin, of course, are good for constipation. So the vet is like, did she, do you have any carrots? I was like, yes, I do. I said, they're cooked though. They're not raw. She's like, that's okay. So we're back and forth on the chat and I gave him some and he still wasn't acting any better. And I told her, I said, I, I can't hardly get him to eat any of them. He's not wanting. And she goes, well, what changed today? Because he's never acted like this before. If he's constipated, he's been constipated a little bit, but you know, and I said, this has come on within two hours. So we were talking and she says, okay, what people food did you give him? And I said, you know, I really didn't. I said, there was some Turkey. Um, I said, I gave him a big, I said, I split a piece of uh, skin with him and his brother. And then he got a little, she goes, oh, really? And she goes, did you season your turkey? She says, you made it? And I said, yes, I did. And she goes, what seasonings did you use on it? And so we narrowed it down. And I told her the blend. And she says, I need to know the ingredients in that. And so I rolled it over. And, of course, Majorum was one of the ones in there. And she, uh, she goes, I know your problem. It's, it's going to be fine. We got this. And I was like, what is going on? So she explained to me that Majorum uh, can make a dog very ill. And I asked her flat out, is this life threatening? I said, do I need to get him to the emergency vet right now? Have his stomach pump? She says, no, 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 no. She said, he, I've never heard of one dying from this, but they do get very ill worst case, she says, absolute worst case of scenario, he would end up in the hospital with an IV, um, due to nausea, dehydration from vomiting and diarrhea. And she says, that's what most of them that eat this spice end up with worst case. She goes, now you only gave him, you know, that little bit and you split it with his brother. And she said, and Hitch, she says, how is Hitch? I said, he weighs twice as much as Worm, and it didn't affect him at all. She goes, that's good, because if they both ate it, that means Worm only got just a little bit. So, um, some of the effects of, of Majorum on dogs is nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, um, all the way up to a point of temporary paralysis. Yeah. So I was scared to death, worried, you know, um, got through that. By the next morning, he was actually moving around, which was a step in the right direction. By noon, he was eating dry dog food and drinking water. And that's the thing she said is keep him eating and drinking and peeing and pooping. She said, it will, it has to just work its way out of his system. There's no anything other than that. And I said, okay. So, um, lunchtime on Tuesday, I missed a meeting Tuesday morning cause I didn't want to leave him. And then I forgot all about the meeting. So, oh, well, um, my boss was pretty cool about it. I told her what happened and I said, I, it just slipped my mind and I, didn't realize and I said until I realized that you know I didn't want to leave him at 8 30 when I needed to leave that's when I figured out I was supposed to leave an hour before because my meeting was there and she goes that's okay not a problem I said okay 
um, then by that night, he was pretty much back to himself Tuesday night. By Wednesday, you wouldn't even have known it happened. So that went on the first part of the week. Um, Thursday, of course, was Thanksgiving. Oh. It was just me and roommate, and then the kids came on Saturday. Friday, I had to work. Um, then Saturday, the kids came and we had lasagna. We didn't do a traditional Thanksgiving dinner because RJ and Macy pretty much put it to me this way, and Tori agreed with them. Every place that they went, they ate turkey, mashed potatoes, stuffing, blah, blah, blah. And every place they went, everyone knows that they didn't make a meal, so they packed them a plate. So they go home, and they went home Thursday with, I think RJ said he had three plates of food. And he says, I'm going to have to eat that for the next three days. And he says, I've been eating on it, Mom, but they always overdo, and they send too much, and, you know, he says, I get tired of it, you know, and he said, can we just do something different? And I said, well, what do you want to do? And he said, let's make lasagna. So I sent lasagna home with him so that, because he, Thursday he had Thanksgiving dinner with her mom, and then they went to her granny's, that's where two plates came from. Um, then Friday he went to, uh, his father's side there. He got another plate of food. Um, and then Saturday he was with me. So he was like, as much as I love turkey and that, he says, I really just get tired of it. And, uh, so I made lasagna and he had lasagna Saturday with me, and then he said that Sunday he'd eat some more turkey, but then he was going to eat lasagna Monday. He's like, I'm going to go back and forth, back and forth. And I just laughed at him. So, after they left, or I say they, after sister and her husband left, um, RJ, Macy, and I jumped in the car, and we went, and we filled the stockings this year. This was Macy's first year to go with us, number one. Number two, it was a good year, so we went a little bit more blessed okay and we got that done and then um let's see sunday i started the christmas decorations i have my grandma's tree here i've got all my little things up here now we are in the den for the simple fact that it's cold this morning the fire is going we have a fireplace in here and the other end of the house gets cooler so and I, worm has all of his blankets up here because so, I don't even know what day I'm on, okay? I don't know where my story left off with the whole dog saga. Um, Worm was doing fine by Wednesday night. Thursday, we refused to give him anything. He had to go, they had to go three days without anything. Anyway, last night, or yesterday, I don't know what Hitch got into. I don't know, um, there was nothing... We've been super careful since that whole thing, but last night, three o'clock in the morning, I was cleaning up puke and putting him outside, and he is actually laying right there. Um, there's a bunch of blankets up on, right now there's also crochet and stuff, but there's a bunch of blankets up here on the couch from where I had worm up here, and I've been too lazy, and we don't use throw pillows. I have just pillows that I take and make covers for. Uh, roommate and I just not into the throw pillows, but boy, I really want one I can lay on, you know. So we use regular pillows that we have around, and I just make um, pillowcases for them that match the house. So, yeah, it's not really a throw pillow, but it is. <laughs> and then it's my lounge about. Um, and the dogs lay on it too. But anyway, so I've got my little pillow that I was here, and I had worm. <laughs> I have. One, two, three, four blankets up here. <laughs> anyway, that's where I put Hitch last night, and he stayed, and he slept on it. So, yeah, this is kind of the sickly couch, I guess. Anyway, all of that being said, uh, 
RJ has set a date. Well, RJ and Macy have set a date for the wedding the first week of November of next year. They've got a venue and everything. Hunter green and black are the colors. And, uh, yeah, I've already gone to work and put in uh, two days before and two days after the wedding. I will have those to do the last minute whatevers. So, in between all of that, I have been working on some things. So, first, off the hook, I have the crossbody. Uh, all right. It, I have even woven in the ends. It is reversible. Dun, dun, dun. I think it looks really cute. I like it. No, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I may just use it myself. I don't know. But, yeah. It is a reversible crossbody. Um. Anyway. Off the hooks. Done. Thank goodness. I am so over this one. Alright. So that one's done. Then the other thing I have been working on. <clears throat> I actually have two that I've been consistently working. Okay. And this is the... Uh, sleeved scarf. And there's this this and I literally only have I have it like part and half so I've got another quarter of this to go and then it should yeah. and then I already have the other sleeve done I just have to do decreases and and sew it on here's the other sleeve so that they match and we'll see um I'm liking it so we will Go from there. Hopefully, hopefully it'll be nice. I like it. Keeping my hopes up on that one. So, uh, but I have gotten further off it. I've been working on it, and it's just the center part getting longer and longer. So, um, the only thing that would change is there will be three rows of decreases, and then so on that sleeve. And that's literally, I'm just until I get to the three rows of decreases and then sew it on. So the other thing I've been working on, and I have my spinning wheel right here. <laughs> there we go. I have that much on the bobbin. There's my little granny's Christmas. Tree. I have that much on the bobbin. I have another full bobbin. Then I have um and I've been Applying it as I go. Instead of having all my bobbins full all at once, I've been applying it as I go. And I added this up the other night, and wouldn't you know, I can't remember what it was. Um, that's terrible. I started with two pounds of domestic wool. Okay. I got it through that uh, RL Raw uh, RL. Uh, don't remember. It's it's the website that I always use and so all right there is so far there's two at 448 one at 550 and this one is at so another 448 yeah. Okay. 356. So, um, I've got four of these so far. There's two of them that came out exactly 448. I don't know how I did that, but I did. One came out 550 and one came out 356, which means I didn't get those two split even, but hey. So, <laughs> um, then I've got what's on the bottom that I showed you and what's on that. And then the last part that I have to spin is this. This is what I'm down to. Out of two pounds, I have less than eight ounces. Okay. So 
if I had to guess, I'm going to say this is about seven ounces, seven, six to seven ounces, um, because I roll them in eight ounce balls, and that just helps me keep track when I'm doing a, a large amount. So, um, I... This is bag. This I've been flying on this one, um, my big bobber, and then I've just been spinning on the little ones. So literally just filling two bobbins, then plying it, and then scanning it off. Uh, when I got this, I had ideas for all of the yarn or all the fiber to spin to yarn blah 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 i can't remember this is the last time if you remember i bought like two pounds of four different kinds and yeah I, this is the last one it's domestic wool and i have no idea what i bought it for i've forgotten so i'm just gonna keep spinning it all up i don't know what color i'm gonna dye it um i'm just literally keeping it in one of these clear plastic bags so that it doesn't sweat and I will label it and when I figure out what it's supposed to be I'll let you know <laughs> I'm not even gonna dye it I'm just gonna have it in here so that um, I have it all in one place and that way I'm good to go uh, but I have been working a lot on that. Now, I did um, work on a couple of other little things that are not these projects. I started new ones, but most of them are done. So, um, so I wanted a couple of new ornaments for the tree this year. And... So I went looking around and I came up with these little guys. These are this one. Here we go. Little Christmas tree, squiggly line Christmas trees. And they're just a crocheted line. And then I put beads in them. I saw some others that were pretty complicated. Not they were used a more complicated stitch. And I prefer to keep it simple okay so um the other thing that i made was i had to have the beads for, oh sorry i had to have the beads to make these little trees and so when i was in hobby lobby i ended up picking up two different sizes because i didn't know what size would work and these this size turned out to be too little so i made them into stars and they won't stop spinning, but you get the point. I made them into stars. And they're going to go on the Christmas tree. Then, with what was left over from those, I think it made like seven of those smaller stars. And then I had made six of these. And then I had beads left over. So then I took and mixed and matched and made two of these stars that have smaller point they're the big beads with the smaller points and they don't look too bad they look pretty nice messy so yeah anyway they're just beads so together with uh i used cotton thread that i had so they have kind of a pink hue to them a light pink i don't care i don't care so anyway i have a bunch of these um i think I think it made seven, eight, nine. It's like nine of these in the two different styles. And there's only two in that style. And then there's six of these. So I got a cute little thing. And then um, I am trying to remember how we made our angels. And so um, This is the start of an angel, and yes, I'm just working it up to see. Um, there's her head. 
and if I remember right, we just did a fold in to make her body, and then you put a half circle to be the wings. And I found this uh, cotton, and it's got a little bit of glitter in it. It's shimmery. So, you know, for the holidays, I like the little shimmer there. And it's quite a lot. And I got it at Hobby Lobby when I went to go and get my um, advent calendar, or candles for the advent wreath. So, this is a work in progress but not done um i have the head attached but yeah it's just remembering how to fold that over to make it look like a body and it's one side wants to do it the way i want and the other side doesn't but and so it will look like this there it goes just kind of fold it in half like that and then like I said, the half circle will be the wings. And it'll be the same size as this circle. So um, hopefully I'll have one done for you next week. Uh, this week I have to work Monday through Thursday. And then I have a meeting on Wednesday, which I cannot miss. Dog or no dog, I cannot miss it. Um so uh then friday i'm off and i'm also off monday and tuesday of next week i have uh personal time that i have to take you use it or lose it and they really get after you to try and use it up they don't want you to lose it so um yeah i've got christmas decoration to do um Roommate and I went out and did the wrapping paper shopping, picked up some seasonal hot chocolates, uh, got the candies for my work stuff, um, and that's what I'm going to be doing this Friday through next Tuesday is I'm going to make a list because I've got so much I want to get done. I'm going to decorate the yard. I have one bag that I'm going to try and line. And if I can get it lined really nice, it's going to go to Macy. Um, then uh, I want to get these angels done. I've got to finish decorating the tree. So our Christmas tree <laughs> is sitting right there. And there are no ornaments on it. It has the bow on the top. And it has the lights on it. That's it. It has no, I have the decorations part of them over here that I just made. Um, I'm going to go through and some of ours are, are kind of wore down, getting older, and I'm going to replace them. Um, the crocheted baskets that were on there are going to be removed. Um, I'm going to put a couple on there, but last year the dog got into them. Chewed up the basket, and I will say that Smarties does not make a dog smarter. That was the candy that we had on the tree. So I'm just going to put candy canes on the tree this year. So, yeah. Um, and that's why I did some of these. So we're going to have some different ornaments. But I want to get that done. I still got to get. I've got my Schmokemon out. And I've got my Tia's out. Advent um, scene. Advent calendar, I guess. I, I really don't know what to call it, but um, it's the big one that's got the little drawers and it's got sayings in them. And I normally try to drop a piece of chocolate in there. Uh, yeah, so I've got those out. I'm going to finish decorating the house inside and out. Pluskengelmacht uh, is Friday, so I will be there opening day. It's kind of a tradition now with me, and I love being there. So, yep, it is what it is. Um, then I can't think there, I, I'm going to get, I got to get the gifts wrapped. I've got to get the stockings put together. 
I literally have to find some boxes. Um, I've got a ton of stuff to get done for Christmas. But it is what it is. And I'm going to get it done this week. Um, like I said, I'm off Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then Monday and Tuesday. So, all right, guys, this is kind of getting in, turning in along because of all the stories. And, but I did get one project done, one I'm still working on, and uh, two are really close to being done. One is spinning and one is, um, crochet. So, uh, yeah. And then I've got the one that's not a, uh, after I get this one done, I've got one more project and that's, um, the sweater that I'm working on. And it's just, it's not a mindless knit. So I have to be very intentional when I'm doing it. Pay attention. Every stitch is different. Every row is different. It, uh, it's awesome, but it makes me stop and think. So, um, and I will get to that one soon enough. You guys, um, I know it's late, but have a happy Thanksgiving. Um, just remember I'm thankful for all of you. Okay. Uh, some weeks, um, I struggle and some weeks it's enough to say, Hey, got to do that. There's somebody out there who wants to hear your stories. Um, who wants to hear about your life, no matter how ridiculous it is. And no matter how good or bad it's going. So, um, I'm really just thankful that y'all are here. Okay. Um, like I said, some days it's just what I get out of bed for. Today, I got to get ready to go to work and I am working towards a short week. So I'm super excited about that. You guys have a blessed day, blessed week. <sighs> And I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.